Teddy bird. had a great little lunch at Little Crater Lake. It's definitely worth a stop here right before Timothy Lake. It's like just a mile or so north of Timothy Lake. <laughs> Cinnamon is stuck in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, time to go back on the VCT. <laughs> We don't 
Schau's auf. Since starting this trip, we've known about the Lion's Head fire closure, and I've asked every single Novo what they did, if they went through it or around it. A lot of people have been going through it. We've met, I think, four even yesterday that had just come through the closure. So today, we're going through the closure ourselves. It seems the Rangers are just kind of letting people pass. A lot of people haven't even seen anybody. So, fingers crossed, hope we get lucky one way or another. No rangers, or maybe they just let us through. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask, ask me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. We hear it's a $600 fine, so like, let's really hope that doesn't happen either, but I don't know, so many people have gone through it, like, we should be all right. Can I just get a sound check? Uh, what do you want me to say? Anything you want. Hello, world. Yeah, so are you a programmer? No. Okay, <laughs> that's like classic. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I got a bunch of my friends there. Okay. Uh, can you just tell me your name and what you're doing? Yeah, my name's uh, Kevin, and uh, I'm hiking the PCT Sobo. At least I was. Got another 200 miles, I think, and then uh, who knows what. And what's, what's the recent news? What just happened? So they just closed all of California. All the national forests are closed until at least the 16th. So that's kind of the end of the hike. I mean, there's not really you can do like to get around that. Yeah, describe how's that feel? 
I mean, it's kind of rough. Um, yeah, I mean, I was definitely planning on being out for quite a bit longer. I mean, my, my home's not threatened, so it's, it's you know, at one point, it, you know, it's kind of bitter to have to get off, but at the same time, you know, there's people in much worse situations. So I kind of try to think of that. Do you have alternate plans? Some of the other people I was hiking with are, are moving to the Arizona Trail. Um, I'm probably just gonna try to drag out Oregon as much as I can, do as many summits, um, side trails. But uh, other than that, no, I'll probably get off after that. Can you explain how you get the time off to be out here? Well, I had uh, gone back to school and uh, graduated in the spring. So I was just kind of, you know, apply to grad schools when I get back, but in between really, you know, I just had dead you know, time to kill. And describe how it feels to hike. Oh, I mean, there's nothing better than being out here. Like I'm from the East Coast, you know, it's just breathtaking out here. So waking up every day, only, you know, the only decision to make is how far you want to walk. Like it's just very free and it's, uh, it's a wonderful feeling.